Connie Wong, and I'm here to talk to you about my favorite topic tonight, and that is me, 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 me. So I was born and raised in San Francisco, but we moved to Marin when I turned four and a half, just in time uh, to go to kindergarten. I went to Granada, down the street from where I lived. I walked to school every day as a little five-year-old. You could do that back in the 70s. You cannot do that today. After kindergarten, I transferred to Clarksburg's St. Patrick's School, and I was there until I was eight when my mother decided that it was time for her to go back to work. And we went and commuted out to school every day for 10 years. After attending Holy Name, we, I continued on to high school at Sacred Heart Cathedral. After high school, I ran away from my parents as far as I could without getting cut off. And that was Southern California. I'm a product of four colleges down there, but I eventually graduated from UCLA with a BA in Women's Studies. I also attended ROTC during my time uh, in college. And upon graduation, I was commissioned a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. I went on active duty almost immediately. My first duty station was McGuire Air Force Base, which is New Jersey. Everybody thinks it's the armpit of the world, but it's not. South Jersey is very nice. It's extremely green, and it's right next to Philadelphia. While I was on active duty, I also went to law school at night. I highly recommend that you don't do that. <laughs> There is no other description except it sucked to go to work all day and then to go to law school at night. I went to work for eight to nine hours a day, drove an hour to uh, law school, went to class until 10.30, drove another hour home. So for five years, my life was a living hell. And I have to admit, I drank a lot in law school. <laughs> I never studied. I have no idea how I got through it, but I did. After law school, I continued on as an officer, and in 2004, I transferred from active duty on into the Air National Guard, California National Guard, where I served as the International Affairs Officer for a couple of years, and then transferred on to Homeland Security for the military department. And eventually, I became the Chief of Equal Opportunity for the 129th Rescue Wing, which is down in Mountain View, not far from here. And it was my job as the Chief of Equal Opportunity to make sure that there's no discrimination and there's no retaliation for filing a discrimination complaint or a sexual harassment complaint. But ironically, in November 2010, I wrote a subject matter expert opinion, a very lawyerly one, unemotional, just the facts and my observances as their chief of equal opportunity, and my commander didn't like it. He was quite offended by it, and so he ironically fired me for speaking out against discrimination and retaliation. As a result of that, I was not a happy camper and felt it necessary to run for office, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm running for the California State Assembly, the June primary, the primary is on June 5th, so please vote for me. I have a lot to offer. My primary reason for running is to hold the government accountable for their misdeeds, because you would ostensibly think that they have your best interests at heart, but they don't. It's a very, our government is extremely corrupt. I witnessed it myself, and I ask that you Speak up whenever you see any corruption. <laughs> That's me in a nutshell for now. And I look forward to getting to know the rest of y'all. Thank you.